stick to weed. So, anyway, that's that. So, so, so the funeral went down. Yeah, you know, I was, a lot of family there. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we talking about old people before. I was around a lot of old people yesterday. Yeah. You know, they, they, they do. They move slow, and you remember when they didn't move so slow. But you know, it was just that wake funeral hell. And um, yeah. again, the wake. I say it every time is the most retarded tradition. I just don't know who started that. It's you so mean where creepy. Grandma Caprio is laying there, yes. and you have to look at the body. Did you look at the body? Of course. You know, you yeah. go up and you, you know, you pay your respects, and a lot of you my friends showed bad. up, which was nice. But you know, it, you, it's so I've been to other people's wakes. It's so awkward. Do you know why it's bad? First of all, I'm sure it didn't even look like Grandma Caprio laying there. No, and not really. Rather, they never get that makeup right. No. You, you'd rather remember, because who do you think is doing makeup at a, <laughs> at, a, at a morgue? They ought to bring in some good people. Yeah, so the the thing is, like, I remember seeing my Uncle Bob, who I loved, and he had an open casket, which was weird, because Jews don't do that. Right. And uh, But they, they said to me, you want to go in and look at him? And I go, yeah, okay. And I remember looking at him. I go, "That's not even my uncle Bob." And, I, yeah. and now that's the memory I have of him. You know, Howard, and you could a lot of times you could smell like formaldehyde yeah. you know or I mean? something. Yeah, yeah. you're not and, sure what it is. Right. You don't want that exactly. You don't want that to be the last memory ever. But it is. Who pays for the funeral? Do you do it? I mean, uh, you that you guy sh- in the family? Uh, no, my no. uncle's. Uh, she had four children, and oh. all four of them kicked in. Oh, so you didn't. Get but when up. my mother kicks in, I kick in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, well, you get it. Yeah, your share was done. Right, yeah. but that, I mean, look, that's fine. We were over at the Galanti <laughs> Galanti Funeral Home in Union, which they're good people. Did like, they, they do a good job? Yeah, they did. They did a good job, but why is she stinking like formaldehyde? <laughs> I guess, I mean, because it's a retarded tradition. How can you not? I just, it's really weird. Right. To me. In order to keep the body fresh they gotta do something well they can't dab a little perfume on grandma caprio so oh, yeah, to be... that smell with perfume is really bad no. well usually uh the one good thing they did was usually it's like two to four and then there's a two hour break and then like six to eight where yeah. you got in but in the break you go to somebody's house and you wait but oh. you did a uh, yeah you did a four hour four to eight straight uh, hours it was a really good uh a lot of people showed up, and then the funeral, you know, everybody gets up early, and you, I was a pallbearer, and, um... You, I know you, lo- you had a lot of duties. I know man. you love your grandma and everything, but, like, that's a, that's a, that's a big test of your love. I mean, putting in that kind of hours. I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, when she's alive, you didn't spend eight hours at the old age home when she was dying. And now you're sitting there with the body. And, yeah, and it's not doing her any good. My, uh, at least he liked Grandma Catherine. Yeah. Right, right. Well, well, just imagine doing it for somebody you don't even like. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely love the woman. But, so, so, uh. So they asked me to. You know, at the last minute, my, my Uncle Tommy wrote something, and he didn't want Because you're the star of the family. I, I mean, in a way, it is. I mean, I, when my grandfather died, I said something. When my father died, I said something. And now, that was before I was in show business. And now, yeah. it's really like, in a weird way, and this isn't the case, but I get a feeling where, like, some people would be disappointed if I didn't say That's something. right. I mean, it's like, that's just Artie didn't creepy. speak. Uh... And I don't think so. I'm... Was it a good crowd? I mean, were they with you? <laughs> hey, did you try to make them laugh or what? I, I did told, you kill? I, told... <laughs> I murdered them. Yeah. I, uh, I told a couple of stories that were humorous stories. Yeah, and they uh, of course that I thought you know were indicative of the kind of person she was, and uh-huh. and uh, it went yeah it went well. But you know, uh, right now did you now, have to was... like script something out? Like did you have to like you had to put work into this thing, right? Well. Luckily, there are two stories I've told before, and I I know them off the top of my right. head pretty right. well. And uh, but a weird... so it's old material. Yeah, exactly. recycling for the funeral. I couldn't do any of the stuff from the Borgata. I don't think it would have worked. Any of the new stuff. I like that stuff. I did the Hillary Clinton Barack joke where we haven't seen a black guy beating. A... I um no a weird thing happened though. Again, he wasn't trying to make me feel guilty, but I felt like he was. My uncle was like saying, "Oh, come on, she would have wanted you to say something." So the priest has Why to, you? The priest... I mean, I'm our older... Because you're on the radio. ...grandchild, but... Yeah. yeah. But not only that, they want a good turnout, and people will come to see our... Okay. turnout, yeah. So, so the priest <laughs> has to run a mass, you know, so right. you have to tell him what's going on. And uh, my sister was doing a reading from the Bible, and my cousin Peter read the eulogy my Uncle Tommy wrote, because my Uncle Tommy didn't want to get up. It was a whole big thing. And I said to, I said to, to my uncle, I said, well... After Stacy's reading, maybe I'll say something. 
And he's like, well, we got to tell the priest. And I'm like, is this, you know, is this a live broadcast? Yeah, I mean, what, what what's is the this? big deal? So, yeah, the timing has to be just perfect. I said, if I feel like I'd, I'd like to say something, you know, I'll say it. So, I mean, it should be that way. So my sister did her reading, and uh, I walked up to the microphone. But what I didn't know is I didn't tell the priest because I thought I could just wing it. Yeah. So I'm standing up at the at the podium. And what I didn't realize was this was the time for a song. Oh. So I go up there. I'm about to speak, and this woman in the balcony belts out what seemed like a half an hour hymn. And I'm up there just looking at the crowd. Oh, no. They don't know why. You know, like, oh. And the priest you know, was a little mad. He says, hey, stop. You know, wait for the song. Mm -hmm. And the woman could see me, but she didn't stop. She bowed right through the whole freaking thing. And it felt like I was up there for an hour. Oh, and then people are starting. Were you sweating, like all nervous? Well, sort of, yeah. yeah. The people are starting to giggle. And I'm like, my God, I, this is the most nervous I've been performing in 20 years. Yeah, so. well, see, you forget. That woman who's singing, yeah. this is her gig. Right, right, right. She's there because, <laughs> man, I get to sing today. Yeah. So was Dana there for your stand-up? I mean, for your uh, speech. No, no, she no, came no. to the wake. Oh, she, she did. She couldn't make it to the funeral. Cause the, did you, know, you see her at the wake? It's a weekday. Uh, yeah. How'd yeah. that go? I mean, you know, it went, it went very... She did was, she see Grandma Caprio? Yeah. Well, so you did have a thing. date for the funeral. Uh, <laughs> this right. wasn't the funeral. It was right. a wake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everybody who goes has to, you know, they all go up and they kneel and, and see the person. You know, yeah. so... Uh, now, let let me ask you, Artie, do you go up there and kneel and cross yourself in the of whole course. thing? Of course, yeah, sure. You don't remember did you from make Gary, out, Gary Did you Bellabon? make out with Dana in front of Grandma Caprio? <laughs> That'd be great. But you should see. Like, Artie goes up and kneels down in front of Grandma Caprio and starts making out with Dana. Yeah, come here, Dana. <laughs> we'll do it together. But you you, you didn't catch uh, uh, Artie at a wake because he has a whole thing he does. Well, remember, yeah, he you crosses himself. <laughs> At Gary's, way, at Gary's wake. Yeah, at Gary's dead. dad's wake. Gary's wake. <laughs> Gary's dad's wake. Yeah, I did the. When you go there, you. <laughs> I think I want to. I'm used to wanting to show my family I'm really being religious, so I do an, a huge sign of the cross. Right. Like, huh? <laughs> you, know? you know what's funny about that? It's like I haven't been to a temple until my you know my kids get bought mitzvah or something. Right. And then when I go. I like sing all the Jewish words and everything because I want to show everyone that I really know what I'm doing yeah. in there. Because I, I went to a conservative temple as a kid and I learned right. everything. So I could sit there like I'm some sort of macher and I know what's going on. <laughs> Well, it's like you, like you have all the rituals down, like what all the old Italians do when they get up in front of the casket. Absolutely. Well, the other thing is, you know, the. Uh... I mean, Artie took a bath in the holy water when at Gary's dad's funeral. He was <laughs> hey, actually Artie, nude. I was there. You see, Artie. Walked <laughs> I shaved up. in the holy water. Artie was on a cross. <laughs> Artie walked up. I came up. in crucified. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, but I, you know, he's the, like bathes, the top. He bathes in the baptismal fountain. Yeah, he's the top Catholic. <laughs> I know every every Catholic, even if you're a, a fuck up like me, we we all know what two, to do. two prayers right uh, our father the lord's prayer and uh, the hail mary uh, right. uh, then there's the act of contrition there's some other stuff that that's another level right but um <laughs> but you've so, got the basics down right so i i when i say the our father i say it really loud i right. definitely do because <laughs> like, like i know all the words to this and then the hail mary but then there's an act of contrition and you got to go uh, a lot of mumbling <laughs> why is it important to us to prove to other people that we know this shit I, and that's all it's about because you you know, religion to me, as I've gotten older, like a lot with a lot of people, I've gotten more and more separated from there, there's it. Key well, that's why I was shocked. It wasn't even your, your relative and you were up there. Well, there's key things you do in Judaism. Like for me, like I, like, like I watch, the, you know, all the old people, they all know all the rituals and stuff. But I wait for certain key moments. Right, to shine. I'm like, ain't kimokainu, ain't kimoshienu, ain't kimokainu. No. <laughs> it's like I know a couple of songs, you know. <laughs> I'm like, Shama Yisroel, Adonai Eloheinu. You know how many times he's sung those things around here? Adonai yeah. And his last daughter's bat mitzvah. Right. I was singing. <laughs> right. You knew the words. I well, knew the words. So how about word. when I got up on the stage? Like you I were knew, great. I knew my shit. Yeah, he, he reads perfectly. I was like, <laughs> And the whole audience has to respond to him? 
Torah comes out, I start making out with it. I just want to prove to people that, like, I know some shit. Yeah. Well, and you know. in the Catholic Church, another weird thing goes on where the priest will say something and you have to respond at certain times. And right. The two big ones are like, um, uh,. Lord hear our prayer. Lord hear our prayer and praise be to God and yep. Lord hear our prayer, praise be to God and what's the other one? Um, and and also with you, like if he says in peace be with you and also with you, <laughs> and like I got good at hearing what other people were saying and then in the middle of their sentence repeating it and it looks like Something I said it, good. but there's times I just outright will say everyone else saying praise be to God and I say and also with you and <laughs> you, you say it first. Wrong. Right, and, and you're just like, oh, damn, I went for it there. And you get a look like, you know. Cause the what story, was the last time you were in church? The story I told. Uh, about Grandma about Caprio. Grandma, I, I, it's real short. I, I, I'm not going to bore you with this. But this it's about me not knowing a lot about about the church. This was actually funny. <laughs> Years ago when I was like 21, I didn't go to college. And, you know, I, I really had... Nothing going on, and it didn't look it's hard to believe. It didn't look good. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't have to wear shades because my future was so bright. Right. Um, so I go to my grandmother's one afternoon to eat, like I always did, and she's praying to Saint Joseph. Okay, she's got all the saint cards out. She prays to Saint. And I said, Grandma, why are you praying to Saint Joseph? And she said, Well, because all the men in the family are carpenters. You know, a lot of you, the men are the cousins are all carpenters, and Saint Joseph was a carpenter. He's sort of the patron saint for. Like a skilled laborer, right. like a carpenter. I said, oh, that's nice. And just busted her ball. I said, well, you don't pray to anybody for me? Because I, I wasn't a carpenter. I sucked at it. And she said, oh, yes, I pray every day for you. And I said, to who? She goes, I pray to St. Jude for you every day. So I just let that go. I was like, oh, whatever. A couple weeks later, I'm working with my Uncle Bruce, who actually knows a lot about the church. And I told him a story, and he started laughing. And I said, what's so funny? He goes, St. Jude is the saint for hopeless causes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know what? Anybody else, I'd be mad. But my grandmother, I think, really was like, look, I got to I got to pray to somebody. <laughs> Who do I pray to? <laughs> exactly. Well, look how it worked for you. Yeah. Grandma Caprio, wherever you are, thank you. Yes, but thank that you. Is, yeah. What is a saint card? Yeah. You know what it's like? You ever get tarot cards? Yeah. yeah. Or a mass card? You ever see that? No, I don't. Uh, I don't. I'm not well, Catholic. Well, I mean, it's part of the church, you know. It's uh... They have saint cards where, like, uh, I've even prayed to a few saints. They're like I baseball cards. To... I got, it's I... baseball cards of the saints. You know what? I have a rookie <laughs> St. Joseph the... and a rookie St. Michael. It's... Oh, I lost <laughs> something one time, and I prayed to St. Um, Anthony. Saint Anthony. Anthony. He's the guy who, if you pray to him, when he you gives lose you some... something back that you lost, and it works. Yeah, you find <laughs> that, that, that was that was my mother. You lose something, you pray to Saint Anthony. I almost became Catholic after that. I I found something really. And they got these guys on cards. You hold a card and you pray. No, I didn't pray something. to a card. I just prayed to Saint Anthony. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, it fucking worked. <laughs> you don't need the card. And then Saint Christopher is the saint for uh, the traveling saint. Right, so right. I have to have that saint in my car all the time. And. Uh, you know, you just realize the hypocrisy of religion. I'm seeing all my buddies who have, you know, I've seen break eight of the Ten Commandments in homeroom. <laughs> and, uh, you know, doing the sign of the cross and everything else. But Yeah. But the same just... cards are like baseball cards, but with no gum. Right. I was going to say, you don't get the gum. <laughs> no stats. Gum. No stats on the back. Uh, hey, i got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Okay, what do I want to do here? Okay, Lisa G is here with the headlines. Let me do that real quick. And